Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services and I welcome you all to the learning series via News in Focus. Today's topic of discussion is a bit interesting and important for civil services prelims examination because we have seen in the recent past that UPSC has been asking the question about the plant, the specific diversity or animal which is there in the news. So this particular plant which is a Kono Carpus plant is there in the news. Gujarat government has recently made a ban to this. We'll see the details and make you understand how to control it. And this particular topic is even significant for both prelims and mains examination. Yeah, okay, prelims or mains may dono pe helpful hai. Prelims may direct aap kise multiple choice questions puche jayenge and mains you can use it as a folder point. So let's get started and understand about the Kono Carpus plant. So why it is in news? First and foremost, recently the government of Gujarat has actually imposed a ban. Gujarat government ne ban kiya hai iske further trees plantation pe. And this is for both, both for the forest as well as for the non-forest area. Why? Because it found that it has a adverse impact on environment and human health. How? Because the pollen green which is there can cause cough, cold, asthma and allergy. Many individuals are intolerant to such pollen which can have a severe health repercussions to an individual. So the reason being government has made this exotic plant species banning in both forest and non-forest area. Now coming to other details about the Kono Carpus tree, some basics that you need to know. You need to know how it grows, what grow it grows, what functions are, what its capabilities are. So actually, this is a fast growing mangrove shrubs, right? So this is a mangrove shrubs, which is found in tropical and subtropical coastal areas. So first it is found in tropical as well as in the subtropical areas, right? And the other important features of this plant that it can thrive in the saline area. So saline area may be its development proper. Hoti hai. This exhibit excessive water absorption rate or just which is say ground water, your ground water at the plant is being depleted or ye kai kafi hat tak iske roots bhi deep hote hain jis wajah se bhi aur problem hoti hai it's a deep rooted plant which can disrupt the infrastructure communications cable drainage and potable water pipeline so if you're writing the negative effect agar aap negative consequences likhe is plant ke to ye kuch aise points honge jo aap mention kar sakte hain specifically mains mein bhi now in india various public authorities has been using the landscape for purposes kuch Areas में खास करके अगर municipalities areas की भी बात करें इसे use की जाती थी including the road medians, road side and for general public gardens. Now after the ban of the Gujarat government, many other state government will be accordingly taking the concrete actions. Now the other thing that you need to know कि किस तरह से problem है इस exotic plant के साथ और ये क्या-क्या चीजों को disturb करती है First, it called for an ecological disruptions. Why? Because it's an exotic plant hai, that can have an outcompete native species disrupting the natural balance. The natural habitat which is there for an individual can disrupt it after a new species is introduced. Right? I mean, this is a basic concept for the ecology. You must be aware of this. Now, disease transmissions, ke agar baat kare, they may introduce the new disease harming the native plant and wildlife. So this is also impacted both flora and fauna. So, sir, folder and here, folder and fauna both are impacted, right? Now, other than this, habitat modifications, which is altering the habitat, they affect resources and native species. Biodiversity may be losses report ki gayi hai. They have been displacing the native species, reducing the overall biodiversity. Because in ki fir dominance badhti hai, aur jo local native biodiversity unki dominance kam hoti. It has an economic impact. The invasive species can damage the agriculture, forest causing the economic loss. So these are the downturns and the negative consequences of this exotic species which has been recently banned by the Gujarat Khan. Now the other important details that you need to know in this context is the controlling growth. How we can control the growth of it. So there are certain procedures that is followed. First is the regular pruning. I mean pruning means trimming. Jase आप कह सकते हैं रेगुलर बेसिस पे कट करना उसके ट्रिम्स को ब्रांचेस को उसके फोलियज को ताकि उसकी साइज ना बढ़े एंड द सेप ऑफ द कोनोकार्पस ट्री रिमेन एट आई मीन एट एट द कंट्रोलेबल लेवल द हर्बिसाइड्स कैन बी यूज्ड दिस कैन बी एन एप्रोप्रिएट हर्बिसाइड यूजिंग द प्रोफेशनल गाइडेंस टू कंट्रोल द ग्रोथ 
वी हैव द अदर प्रोसीजर नोन एज मल्चिंग जहाँ पे मल्चिंग के थ्रू जो ट्री बेस है उसके रूट्स को डिस्करेज किए सकते बिकॉज आई हैव टोल्ड यू द रूट इज डीप इन साइड इम्पैक्टिंग द वॉटर पाइप लाइन ऑल्सो सो दिस कैन बी डन टू इंश्योर द पार्ट ऑफ द ग्रूट एंड रेगुलर मेंटेनेंस मॉनिटर एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द ट्री कंसिस्टेंसी टू प्रिवेंट द अनचेक ग्रो सो दीज आर द अदर प्रोसीजर्स दैट कैन बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड बाय द म्यूनसिपैलिटीज ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक डिस्ट्रिक्ट और अ टाउन सो दैट अनवांटेड स्पीसीज आर नॉट देयर ऑल दो दिस हैज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय गुजरात गवर्नमेंट अभी रिसेंटली में गुजरात गवर्नमेंट ने इसे स्टार्ट किया वी हैव टू सी वेदर एनी अदर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आर फर्दर ऑफिशियली कमिंग अप विद द बैंड और नॉट एज ऑफ नाउ गुजरात इज अ स्टेट सो अगर आपसे प्रॉब्लम्स में या किसी भी एग्जामिनेशन में पूछे जाए तो ये कुछ ऐसे बेसिक्स होंगे जो आपके लिए जानना जरूरी है so this was all about for this topic i'll be coming with some of the other informative topic which will be relevant for the examination for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for stay tuned and stay connected